Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott, and we're still out here at the God's Ten Commandment Park in Columbia Heights, Montana, with another one of these Bible unboxing reviews, whatever you want to call them. It's not really a review, it's just an unboxing. I already looked at it. Sorry, I peeked <laughs> before I got this to you guys. Um, not really a premium Bible by any means. It's not a premium Bible, but I still thought it was cool, and I would share it with my premium Bible group first. Uh, and go live, and then I can upload it later to uh, YouTube. This is the Common Man's Reference Bible in vinyl, uh, wide margin by uh, Bro Hoffman. I've been told by many uh, brothers and sisters on our groups that this is one that I should get. Um, you got a Ruckman Reference Bible that this one is uh, compatible or at least comparable, or maybe it's the one that you should have. Some people even like this one better than the Ruckman. Um, I find that hard to believe because the amount of information that's in the Ruckman is is uh, really hard to beat, and the notes and uh, just the way he has a grasp on the scriptures and the way that he is, uh, to me, it just speaks to me as a street preacher, evangelist. But yeah, we'll check this out. Um, let's just get into it. Like I said, it's not a premium. It is a study Bible, though, but I wanted to share it with you guys first. It is the Common Man's Reference Bible in vinyl. So this is budget. I think it's like 25 bucks or something, somewhere in there, $10 for shipping in the United States. So you got your Holy Bible. Author this is really cool. Authorized King James Bible. I think it used to say... 1611 on some of the older ones, the other editions. It is a red letter edition, um, which I'm not too fond of, but I will take it or leave it. And it's kind of cool when I get it, but I don't have to have it. And it's the Commons, Common Man's Reference Bible by Bro Hoffman. As you can see, it's all, it's flexible. And then I, I think it'll probably lay flat right from the get go. I'll go through and kind of push down as a cat always says kind of flip through starting like this let's see if i can just do it start from side to side you grab just a little bit i won't do it all and you push down one side and then you grab the other side and you do something similar and you go through the bible like that and that's the best way to break in new bibles no matter where you get them or books for that matter so this is brand new. So let's just flip through it real quick. So nothing on the front. Wish they would put Holy Bible. I don't know if maybe you can get that. Cardstock, a couple pages right here. And then you just get right into it. Another page of cardstock. Yeah, that's really a nice couple up front. So it'll help with the, the uh, sturdiness. And that's cool. The presentation paper is like one of the nice... Uh, almost uh, something you would have a certificate on or something. So that's really cool. Marriages, births, marriages, deaths. That's really cool. I like that paper. The Holy Bible containing the Old and New Testament, 1611 authorized King James Bible, translated original tongues, former translations, and... Uh, yeah, the Common Man Reference Bible, numerous maps, references, comments of source, taken wide variety, publication of David Allen Hoffman. I believe that one of the things that I've seen in some of the reviews is that you got these different editions, and uh, since the Word of God is not bound in honestly and sincere use of the maps, marginal reference says footnotes, text, and comments in this work is granted. No monetary gain is used. And granted, dishonest use will be forbidden and unlawful. So he just gives you the rights to just go for it right out of the beginning. So this is a wide margin. I believe the text is on the regular Bible stuff is 10 point, And then this is maybe 9 and then 6, 7 in there. So you see it's got some nice wide margin. We got the... Most High and Mighty James, by the grace of God, translators, dedicatory, and the preface to the Common Man's Bible. Gives you a little bit of the background and the thought process in this. I'll have to go through and read that. 
and then dedication to all the people. If you're a fan of, of uh, Ruckman, uh, Wesley, he lists a lot of different people in here that have uh, contributed to his learning. Uh, Larkin, Ripplinger, Schofield, Jack Chick, Charles Finney. <laughs> Leo, let's just put that on. Maybe we'll try to see if we can get this to go on vibrate. Sorry about that, guys. So where are we? <clears throat> right here. So all the people he mentions, gives credit to. And then got your Old and New Testaments. Paper's thin because it's just a, a uh, economy Bible. So just real thin. Not even worth mentioning. There's nothing to it. I think the Ruckman has about the same, maybe a little bit better. But you just get right into it. First book of Moses called Genesis. You got a little introduction. Same layout as a lot of the <clears throat> study Bibles that you have. Um, got your dates from Usher. And then you just get right into it. Got the scripture right here. And then some notes. I believe he's a flat earther, or at least he just puts a plain uh, definition uh, and philosophy interpretation as far as the text reads flatly literal on the page. So I haven't read that yet. But you got this right here are the notes. You got a number, notes here. Wish that it had the actual verse down here. I'll go through and write those as I go through them. And then your letters go to the cross-references. And one, from what I'm understanding, there's a more cross-references in the Hoffman and the Common Man's here and here. These are called cross-references. And then you got your footnotes here. And uh, I think that probably the Ruckman has more of this. He has more of this and that. And the other another cool thing is there's little definitions in here. And then you also got... Um, like slang words or words that are used. Holy cow, that's funny. And uh, to recover former fullness, so you got some of those in there. I'm just kind of reading this as we go. So yeah, you got a fair amount of notes. You got a lot of uh, bite the dust. That's D, that's C. Dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. So you got these kind of funny sayings or common sayings that come from the Bible. That's a cool little feature that's inside there along with the cross-references. Again, you got ushers dating, and you got a little bit of a description of what's going on on the page. I've never really known when they do this. I've asked people when it's there, is it just in reference to this or the which side does it start or does it encompass the whole page? Is that just a general um, description? So, yeah, it's nice. And as you can see, the size is, I mean, it's a bigger Bible because it's a wide margin. So it's got that funny wide margin shape, which is more of a square than a rectangle Bible shape. But it's not too awkwardly uh, shaped like maybe the Cambridge uh, wide margin. But it still has that shape. So if you're accustomed to that, instead of a regular Bible rectangle, that will make sense for you. So let's speed this up. I want to get done with this for you guys. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. And then you got book introductions. Um, let's see if there's something in between. In between the testaments. Kind of slid over there. Are we get in there. Yeah, you do have the New Testament. And you do have... Uh, something on the silent years from Malachi to Matthew. It goes for two pages in the New Testament, transitional period, an overview of the Bible, two pages of that, then you get right into the New Testament. So that's really awesome. And I have to say the, the print is light. It's not that bold as what I'm used to um, with maybe the Cambridge Concord or, or uh, even an Allen, which is a little lighter than the Concords. And my Ruckman, it's, it's, it's a bolder print. It's beautiful. The layout with the wide margin around here and just having the freedom, the text to breathe is beautiful. It, it feels readable and I don't even have my reading glasses on. I haven't sat down with this in my uh, reading chair, which is basically the couch and then a little 
did a little ottoman thingy and then I got my, my table where I put the coffee and, and all that stuff and then lights and then uh, I got a little uh, book reading light that goes around my neck that I can really see and just get in there and dig in. So that's really cool. I'll go through this more and then I'll probably just switch since it's the beginning of the month. I'm going to do my three P's, Pray Psalms and Proverbs uh, from this and maybe jump in in the New Testament in the evening. Uh, do a very simple Bible reading plan. I call it the one, two, three Bible reading plan. When you first start, you do your three P's in the morning, pray Psalms and Proverbs, read the Psalm for the day. Today was what? The fifth. So we read Psalm five and Proverb five at the bare minimum. Then in the afternoon, the lunchtime, you sit down for work. You get into God's word and read from the Old Testament starting in Genesis. And then before you go to sleep, you pray and read from the New Testament one chapter. One, two, three Bible reading plan. Bam! Real simple. I got a lot of people doing that with me. So yeah, let's check out the red text. And it's nice, and it's lined up really good, so that's a blessing right there. Um, and again, the, the print isn't that dark, but it sits on the paper, and the paper kind of has a yellowish, maybe gray feel to it, not quite as white as this. You can see the contrast between the banner here, as I'm doing this at, at the office, here with our banners on top of that table. That's pure white, Fuller's white. This is more of a off opaque, maybe pearl with a grayish tint. And then the red is a nice red. It sits well. It is lined up really good, but it's not deep Cambridge red. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But it's beautiful. The layout is just really easy to see. That's, it's readable like right here and that's so cool and here's the other thing i'll probably end up getting a wide margin one of these at some point um because of this the study bibles that i like the wide margins that i like the allens the cambridge or anyone the schofield that actually have the schofield i have the cambridge concord wide margin they're wonderful for the wide margins but the text is usually a nine pont nine point font and I just can't sit down and read comfortably with that and I certainly can't grab it and just preach from it without the glasses and um, the fact that this is a 10 point font and then nine on these that just makes it so much better <laughs> because if you got a nine point font here and you got an eight over here and then you got a five or a six over here you can't read any of it so anyway it's just me. My eyes are getting older and things happen. But let's go to the end here. I think there's a couple articles towards the back and that's pretty much it. And then the maps and then we'll cut out. I'm just really excited. Wanted to share this with you guys a little bit longer than I like to do, but that's okay. We can mix up the, the lengths. So we've got two articles that aren't in some of the first editions, I believe one through four, somewhere in there or one through three, seven steps to learn the scriptures. Boom, you got a nice thing up here, and then you start writing the steps. Step number one is to believe. And he goes through that for several pages. I don't know if this is the same thing still going or whatever, but it's quite lengthy. Nice. Okay, and then yeah, that's got a nice few pages. And then also you have the perfect unity under a pure final authority. So he is a thing that's really cool about this is just like Ruckman, he is a brother that does not mess with the word. He doesn't try to correct God's word. He doesn't try to slam the Greek or the Hebrew in there and try and say this or that. The King James Bible is taken as the holy word of God, preserved and perfect, and that's how it's treated. So that's wonderful to read that. So you got a perfect unity under fear and primal authority, final authority. Bible, let's see these bullet points, seven of them. We'll just, then we'll get on. The Bible is the final authority for all matters of faith and practice. Yep. Number two, the scripture is given by inspiration of God. Yep. Number three, the scripture is inerrant, flawless, or perfect. Yep. Number four, Jesus Christ is called the word of God. Ruckman. Yep, that's right. When the Word of God, when in reference to Jesus, capital W, when it's the words or word, the Word of God speaking of the Bible, lowercase, uh, Ruckman's very particular on that, and so am I now. Number five, the Lord Jesus Christ is sinless and holy today. Amen. Number six, the Messiah or Savior of the world is of the nation of Israel. Yep. Number seven, Satan is the first being 
to cast doubt upon or corrupt the words of God. And he did that right. Word of God when it's referenced to Jesus, words of God or word of God when talking about the Bible. That's a big one for me. No sense in making the Bible into an idol. So anyway, yeah, that's awesome. And that goes on for several pages. And then here's the other cool part. Let's just move this. Well, we don't even need to move it. We'll just leave it like that. The maps are beautiful. They're on uh, map paper, not too glossy, not too flat. You got the Abraham at Land Grant, very similar to Ruckman. You got a couple different maps here. And here's another awesome feature, probably one of the only map, uh, study Bibles or reference Bibles on the market. Um, he says it's the only one. I don't know. I haven't looked into it, but it's the only one that I've ever seen that actually has the route of the Exodus and the crossing of the Red Sea where it says biblically. And he has references in the maps to show you on all of them, for that matter, uh, where it is. And he says that he had the, uh, the privilege of going with a brother in the Lord that really knew about all this stuff. And they're able to see this stuff with their own eyes. The route of the promised land, general locations of the tribes of Israel, kingdom of David, time of Jesus Christ. And here's another cool thing. Um, you have usually the Paul's missionary journeys, first, second, and third on one map, and they're all different colored, and there's arrows everywhere, and you don't even know what's going on, and you just give up. Well, he got them, he has them separate, so that's really cool. Two thumbs up for that. Ba boom, Paul's first missionary journey. Set out from here, went around there. Second missionary journey, much bigger. Third missionary journey, Paul Bam, and then the route to Rome. And then here you got the seven churches of Asia. So very similar, has a definite feel like a Ruckman reference Bible. The construction is just the same if you have one of those. Just a regular vinyl Bible. Only bummer, no holy Bible on the front. And lays flat pretty much right out the box. And I haven't even done the cat flattened down thingy that she uh, suggests. So, yeah, that's that's it. That's the Common Man's Reference Bible by Bro Hoffman. What a wonderful thing. I can't wait to jump into this. Probably sit down with it for my nighttime read. Might even do a little bit of uh, afternoon read if I can find time today. But for sure in the morning, going to jump into my three Ps and uh, start getting into this, into the Psalms and problems. So God bless you guys again. If you need anything at all, give us a call at one eight five five seventy jesus or log under our websites at oneaccordcrusades.com for the general website. And if you'd like to see some of the stuff that we have here at the God's Ten Commandment Park, we've got a special section of that website. Uh, you can go to godstenca.com to see the banners, magnets, and the evangelistic type of materials, hats and crosses and a couple of different books uh, that we have and different things, knickknacks and what that are around here that are available for you guys online that you can't get anywhere else, at least from us. So God bless you all. If you're not saved, get saved. Call out to Jesus. Have him save your soul. Just say, Jesus, forgive my sin and save my soul. Give us a ring.